Hello everyone. So today I received a question about uh, the dashboard and uh, it's not it's not really a question about uh, the dashboard itself but uh, when you click on the logo so we are talking about Jira cloud and usually if you are if you have been using Jira for a while you would click on your logo on top left corner to reach your dashboard right and uh, this is something that uh, of course i'm also used to but i also know how it works on cloud so if you want to bring back your dashboard view so you so most likely you are familiar with this uh, view where uh, the moment you click on the lo logo you want to see your dashboard right and you also want to see maybe uh, any dashboard any other dashboard that you may have so this is something that of course can be done uh, using uh, your own personal profile setting. So all you need to do, go to your, by the way, click on your nice icon and then go to your uh, personal settings. I hope I'm doing it correctly, yes. So you, have, you need to go to the personal settings and if you notice, there are a few things that you can configure. So while we are on this page, let us take a look at a few things. So we have, of course, the time zone, which you can change if you want. You can also change the language. So my language is uh, English United States, which I believe I can change it to maybe something else if I have to, but I think uh, it is fine. So watch your issues. You can actually watch your issues if you want by default and add it from global settings or you can actually disable it. So I think watching your issues uh, makes sense because uh, it is your issue, right? You want to know what is happening. Then this is the main thing, your Jira homepage. By I mean, right now it is uh, <laughs> it is pr project directory, but you can change it to your work. So basically, this particular uh, your work uh, page, um, this is something that you can reach, and uh, you will notice things like uh, you know the recent projects that you worked on. You will see all the starred dashboards, and you can see the list of some issues, recent issues viewed. So it is also like a dashboard, which is also fine. But if you are uh, a bit, if you're feeling a bit nostalgic and you want your dashboards, when you click on your Jira logo, you can select it here. So before we save this setting, let us take a look at what else we have. So we have email notification for issue activity. Send me an email notification, yes or no. So this is something that you can change here, uh, I mean, in your profile. And uh, get email updates for issue activity when you're watching, you're the reporter, you're the assignee, someone mentions you, or you make changes to the issue. So I think this last one is probably fine, unchecked, because I, if I made a change, I don't really want to be notified <laughs> because it is my change and, 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 and I did it. But sometimes when you're doing it using automation tools, it might make sense, so up to you. I, I, I'm fine with this. Now the next option is we have uh, email notification format text or html you can change to html if you prefer and then uh, that is it let us save it let us save it and uh, what we'll do of course we'll test by clicking the <coughs> logo and now we have the dashboard so this is how you would uh, work and uh, get back your dashboard if you are really missing it so that is all i wanted to talk about today I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much.